Active Together has been launched following Active East Riding's Stay Home, Stay Active campaign. It provides a variety of activities to keep both the body and mind active. This includes gentle exercise programs, fun games and activities, along with a series of reminiscence and sing-along sessions. Before we start today's exercise session, we have some important tips. Tip 1. Always work at your own pace. Tip 2. Rest and take a drink whenever you need to. Tip 3. Don't participate in any exercises that feel uncomfortable. Tip 4. Only exercise in today's session if you feel well enough to do so and you haven't been advised by a medical professional not to exercise. Now you're ready to exercise. It's time to hand over to a member of the East Riding Leisure Team and we hope you enjoy today's session. Hi there, my name's Alison. I'm going to do a little bit of yoga with you today. So the first thing I'd like to do is make sure that you're sat in a comfortable position. Make sure your back is nice and long. If you can, squeeze around the core and let the shoulders roll down the body. And just feel that you're extended out the top of the head. So you've got a nice long line. Good. So you're just gonna start by squeezing the shoulders up and then rolling the back down. You can do one at a time if that feels a little bit easier or both together really take it to your own level we do hold a lot of tension in our neck so try to release it there just a couple more lovely then think about picking your arms up open them out by the side bring them back so they're forward again and then let them lower just to check how your shoulders and your arms are feeling. Well done, easy breath with that nice tall spine. One more time. Good. Then the head. So try and just squeeze up into the face, tighten the eyes, the nose, the mouth, make a really tight face, and then maybe a slight sigh of breath. Let it relax. Try that again. So tighten the eyes, close them tight, screw up the face, just make a funny face, tighten, and then release. One more time. So squeezing, tightening, and let it go. Good. Thinking about the middle of the body. So I'll just go sideways on so you can see, but you're gonna be sat as much as you can tall. Maybe try not to lean into the back of the chair because that's what happens you curl up a bit so you're going to try and draw in squeezing in here tightening pulling through the chest if that feels good maybe lift the shoulders and then let that go as you breathe out so a couple more like that so you're going to squeeze in tighten if it feels good maybe the shoulders hold it for a second and then exhale let it release lovely one more time so squeeze tighten and release perfect so coming into the legs just try and extend one leg and draw the toes towards you so you're pulling up into that thigh push out through the heel if that feels good if you need to support the leg please hold underneath then letting it go just feel a bit easier go the same thing so extend the heel as much as you can even if it's a little bit low it's fine you're still bringing that tightness in and then the release one more time so extending, pushing out through the heel, pulling up, and then releasing. Just give that a little bit of a wiggle, make sure there's no tension crept in. And then set yourself long again. So try the other leg, extending it. Again, I'll go slightly diagonal so you can see. You're pulling up through that thigh, pushing out through the heel, perfect. Then let that leg release. So squeezing up, feel the tightness come in. Remember, you can hold it, you can go a little bit lower, it doesn't have to be absolutely straight then the important thing is to release. One more time. So extend again, squeezing up, then take the release. Lovely. Again, maybe a little bit of a wiggle around. So check in that we're feeling happy and loose as we can around the legs, ankles and feet. Perfect. Now we're gonna do a little bit of yoga around the face. First, or the fingers, sorry. Come together about your forehead and as you open the arms, just feel any tension release away as if you're lifting it away with the fingers. 
Good. So out breath as you take your hands away. Inhale, bring the hands back towards each other. Out breath, away, good. So nice if you've got tension around the head or the neck. Imagine the fingers just lifting that away now. Try two more, two more times. Breathe out. One more. Good, and then slowly release your arms down, check the shoulders. Perfect. And if you feel okay, bringing the hands near the top of the nose, we're gonna slide them down the face and release away there, similar to what we did on the forehead. So breathing in, as you breathe out, slightly swoop them down and lift them away. Inhale back to the top of the nose, that's called the third eye. And then exhalation, just sitting comfortably as you're doing this. Maybe a couple more, breathe in and breathe out. Good, one more time. Out breath, release the tension from the face. So if you get tightness like sinusy around here, that's good for that. Thinking about the neck really carefully, not much pressure. So you're gonna place the fingers really gently on the neck. Inhale with that as you exhale, carry them up, maybe lift the chin a little bit and then take any tension away. Good, inhale, bring it back. Exhale, taking away the tension. Good, inhale back. Just a really, really soft movement, hands coming away. Good, one more time. Breathe in and breathe out. Perfect. Then bring your arms back down again, the shoulders, the arms, the fingers, that might be a little bit stiff now after that, after holding your arms up, so just give them a little bit of a wiggle. Good, so focusing on your hands and arms now. Hold onto your thumb with your hand and just do a little bit of a circle with it and then kind of flick it away. Do the same with the first finger, so rotations loosely, massage it if you want to, and then flick it away. Middle finger, a little bit of a rotation, movement around. You can warm it if they're a bit cold, get the joints moving, and then flick it away. Good, onto your ring finger, so similar, a little bit of movement, and then again flick, good. Little finger, mine's always a little bit stiff, and then give it that flick away, good. Loosen the fingers, rotate the wrists, maybe flick the fingers out. Just get the blood all the way to the joints and then release that arm down, check the shoulders, check that you're comfortable again. So we're moving on to the other side. So hold on to the thumb if you can, do a little bit of a circulation or if there's someone there to do this for you, all the better. And then flick that away, good. Same thing with the forefinger, you're just moving it, moving the joints, circling, and then maybe flicking that away. Perfect. Middle finger, just in your own time and your own breath with all of these. Flick it away. Good. Ring finger, a little bit of movement. Flick it away. Little finger, so moving around the joints. Lovely, get that liquid moving around and then flick it away. Good. Then wiggling the fingers, maybe rotate the wrists, whatever you can do, flick out the fingers. Easy movement, up to you, what you can do. Just keep it moving, yeah? And then arm comes back down, release your shoulders, release the neck. Perfect. <clears throat> now bring your hands together in prayer salute. Good. Try pressing into your hands, so we're working a bit of strength into your upper body. Then if possible, lifting your arms. It doesn't matter how far you lift, even if it's just above the head, that's fine. Or coming up longer and then feel that you're stretching. If your hands want to separate, if your elbows want to bend, absolutely fine. Then you're bringing your hands back down again to about the heart center. Good. So go with that again, lifting. Keep pressing into the hands, brace and squeeze around the abdominals if you can. And go long. Feel like you're lifting from the ribs you still got the butt cheeks down. Good, coming back down with that. Now, as much as possible, try and bring the forearms together. It might not be all the way, but try and get it so your forearms are pressing together. Lovely, and then lengthen up again. When you feel the need to separate the elbows, do that. Good, reaching, lengthening, 
Let the breath come in, yeah? Out breath is when you're returning back down. Try and get the forearms together again. Shoulders are releasing down. Good. Let's do one more. So traveling up, separate whenever you're ready. Doesn't matter if you're here. If you need to keep the elbows bent, fine. Try not to lift the shoulders. Perfect. And then back down again with that. If possible, forearms together. So you're trying to get the elbows to squeeze together as well as the hands. Then from there, we're gonna open your arms. So breathe in and bring your arms open. More or less, elbows in line with the shoulders. Breathe out, bringing it back. Good. Now see when if you can bring it back, you can just open a little bit. Squeeze your shoulder blades together and lift the chest, maybe a little bit of a look up. Perfect, then come back again to forearms together. I'm gonna to go sideways to show you how it might look in your back. So inhaling, and then maybe your arms go a little bit back and you might be looking up. Exhaling, back and squeeze it. Let's do one more, breathe in. And breathe out. Perfect. So your arms might be a little bit tired now. Just let them fall down. Give them a wiggle again. Wiggle the fingers. We're going to keep your arms down now. Try to maneuver yourself so you really straighten the chair. Hands by the side of you. Good. Breath in. Take down that right arm. Just let it slide down to work into the side body. Either stay looking ahead. If you're dizzy, keep your eye gaze ahead. Or look down towards the floor. If it makes you dizzy, remember, don't look down. Good, everything at your own level, remember. Come back to the center, and then we're sliding down the opposite way. So nice and easy. Stay looking ahead, or bring your eye gaze down. Good, back to the center again. Are you centered? Check the shoulders. Right hand, slide the right hand down. And as you breathe out, you might get just slightly more. The out breath tends to relax your body. Doesn't matter if you're holding onto the chair, and then we rise back. Remember to take the tension away each time you come back. Opposite direction, this is your last time. Holding, maybe going a little bit further, possibly looking down. Lovely, back again to the center, perfect. Release your shoulders again. If you can, lift in your arms, even if it's a little bit, or come to shoulder height with it. We're gonna twist, breathe in, careful. As you take it back, <coughs> excuse me, Check, there's nothing behind you and you're twisting. If your arms are a little bit lower, it's fine, or you can even hold on. Then come back to the front again, take another inhalation, then twist in, we're going the opposite direction, maybe looking at the arm. You might want your arms down, you might want to settle them on the legs. Come back to the front. So twisting helps to release the spine. Let's do it one more, either direction. Back to the front again, inhaling, and then twist the opposite direction. Well done. Come back again, back to the front, and release your arms down, roll the shoulders, brace your abdominals, and just start to lean in. So as you lean in, you can hold on, hands to thighs, or you can come down a little bit heavier. Maybe, again, arms are wiggling, fingers are wiggling, Eye gaze ahead or drop the head down if that feels comfortable, working on the spine forward. Good, then we're gonna come back up, hold on if you need to hold on, take your time with it. And if it feels good to lift your arms, lift them, open the chest and perhaps look forward or look up. Lovely, so let's do that again. Hinge from the hips, bring your hands down. Again, I'll show you sideways. So you're either gonna be just halfway or you're gonna to continue to come down. You can look ahead or drop the eye gaze down and just feel that you're really stretching and releasing into the back. It's a heavy feel. Keep breathing. Then we're coming back up with that. If you want to hold on, please do. Or lifting your arms. Then maybe create the back bend by opening, looking forward or looking up. Let's do it one more time. So forward again, hands to thighs or continue to come down. Eye gaze ahead or drop the head. And the head is really heavy, remember that. So it can just drag out tension from the shoulders and the neck if you're comfortable with it being down. If possible, we're gonna rise back up, maybe holding on or lifting both arms 
and gently open out. Let's finish in that nice open position. Perfect. So come back down with that. Okay, so a little bit of work around the legs. Perhaps you can lift slightly and just circle the foot. Rotations, anything like this, really help with swollen ankles, stiff joints, then the opposite direction. Good. Pause with that, release it, bring the foot down. Change legs. So you might want to hook under, circling the foot. Good. Breathe easily. You might hear a few cracks and crunches. Mine are. And that's absolutely fine. It just means your joints are dry. Then the other direction. Good. Bring it back down again. Perfect. Looking lovely. Now, if you can, open out through the legs. So this is going to work through the inner thighs. Maybe shift your weight a little bit forward and use the hands on the inside, but not on the knees. You don't want to push on the knees. So if you're here, just a little bit higher than the knees, use a breath to just press gently. So you're feeling a stretch into the inner thighs and opening the hips. Good, then let it release. Okay, so try that again. So gently push and then release. Only if it's possible for you. One more time. Good. Then bring it back in. So if you need to help the legs, help them back in. So you've got your hips back to square. Again, only if this is good for your hips. You're going to bend one knee, give it a lift, and maybe cross it over. Now, if that's a little bit challenging, just keep it inside. But carry it over slightly. So you're stretching the hip the opposite direction. Good. Then let go of it. Give it another wiggle. Try the other side. So a little lift, maybe a squeeze in. Perhaps foot over if you're able to do that and draw your knee in. Good job. So back, foot down again, straight bodies. Lifting up both arms. We're just going to finish nice and straight. Just a short session, if I can speak, to work through your body. Good. Bring your hands back down, heart centre. And then let them release. Lovely. So sitting back in your chair, so you're really comfortable, really long, and perhaps close your eyes. Just a really short relaxation. So bring awareness now into the face and the head. Can you soften eyes, nose, and mouth? Breathe out, relax the head. Shoulders and neck. So relax the shoulders, relax the neck. Breathe out, relax all the way down your arms to the hands. Again, heavy, breathe out, relax. You might even want your palms uppermost. How's the back feeling? Rest all of the spine, rest the chest, rest the abdominals, breathe out, relax. How are you feeling into the legs? Thighs, knees, ankles, feet. Exhale, relax. Let's think about the whole entire body, from the top of the head all the way down to your feet. Exhale, relax. And just keep checking your body. If you find you've got any pockets of tension anywhere, breathe into them now. Just let go fully. A few more breaths here. This is really helpful for your general well-being. Helps you to slow down in the mind and the body. Beautiful. Then maybe open your eyes. Breathe just a little bit deeper. As you deepen the breath, you're going to bring energy back in. Good, then maybe a little bit of a wiggle, hands, fingers, feet, toes. Move where you want to move, little stretches. Shuffle around if you want to into the chair. Well done. Thank you very much. See you next time. Thank you for taking part in today's Active Together activity. We hope to see you again soon.